Okay. Our next step will be to add the images and take care of the paragraph tags and the lists. I'll show you the way to go is to find the image that you want and put an image tag in there. Uh, let me undo that so you can see the image I'm looking for is pilates1.png. So let me change it to an image tag. Add the attribute. And in between here, I know that my images are in this assets folder, so I'll start with that part of the path. Then I'm going to go in the images folder, and I'm looking for pilates1.png. Beautiful. I'll add the alt tag while I'm here. Alt equals, uh, this is a picture of Pilates pose. There. So I've done that properly. There are other images, but not on this page. Let's go to part one. And here we have a place for image one. So again, I'll put the image tag and I'll add the attribute. And in between here, I'll put my path in again. Go to images and I'm looking for image one. I'll add an alt tag, and again, I'm just going to call all of these Pilates pose, because that's what they all are. Oops, I forgot to say alt equals. There we go. Save that. Now, I'm going to do each of the images on each of the pages, and this video will zoom through it. Up. Let's fix line 7 in every one of these and give them the title that they should be. This one can be just a copy of the H1. I think each of them should do that, just be a copy of the H1. I'm always clicking Control S to save my work. I know many of you will prefer using the drop-down menu, but I think Control S is a lot faster, so that's why I use it. Oh, I think I'll just call it part two. What did I call the first one? Part one. Yeah, I'll call each of these. It's a little bit shorter than what their long H2 is. And you need to have a document title. It's really important because that's how your browser will label it. This is part six. All right, now let's go through. And in the main section, we need to do some tagging. So with this one, we can just begin with a P tag because this page one doesn't have any lists on it. But down here, we'll need to start with and we can end the p tag after include. And then this part is going to be a list. If it's a bulleted list, that means it will be an unordered list. So I'll put the start tag and the end tag. Remember how I've always said shut the door. And then the list items will replace the bullets. Because when you make a list item, it puts a bullet in there for you. So once again, I'm going to zoom through each of these pages doing the same thing for each page. I'll put a paragraph tag where it has a number two, and I'll end this one. And if there is a list, like there is here on number three, I'll put the list after the paragraph. And oops. I put the end of that tag in the wrong spot. There we go. And then, uh, and then we will reconnoiter. We'll get back together after I've done all of these lists, paragraph tags, and lists.